All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Lee Max Zombie Records. Let's get into it. Okay, so Zombie Records, we're going to dive right in here. It was released in 2021, and we're going to go right into some dimensions. It is 8.11 inches high, 5.67 inches wide, and 5.51 inches deep. So there's definitely some height to this one. It's kind of a really well-rounded size, I guess you could say. Uh, I want to give you the SKU number. Like I told you before, I'm trying to get better at that. So this SKU number is for both Lamax and Michaels. So the SKU number is 15726. All right, product type. It is a lighted building, and it's made of porcelain. So let's talk power. I'm just zooming right through this one here. I'm just, I'm just excited. What do you want me to say? So uh, talking power. So it is a standard 4.5 volt adapter that is included, and it draws about 17 milliamps. So that's really, guys, for a house especially, that's really not much at all on the draw. So using this on one of your multi-adapters would be no problem. All right. Continuing on, we have a simple push on and off switch. I'll go ahead and get that up on the screen for you. But just like, you know, all the basic ones here, like a table accent, something like that, same kind of switch. And price, we have $59.99. I know, I felt the same way when I saw that one, especially for something with no animation and no soundtrack. But we're gonna look into it and see if we can figure out why it's $59.99. So another thing I wanna share with you is the description for this house. Lamax for 2021 has been really writing some creative descriptions that kinda just bring a smile to your face. And when I'm doing my research, it, it brought a smile to my face. So I wanna read it to you now. All right, so it says, if you died for music, wow, if you'd die for music, then Zombie Records is the place for you. The building is shaped like a large jukebox with two lights shining on the spooky song list. You can listen to anything from whole lot of bones to more brains. Don't be afraid of the zombies coming out of the graveyard in the front yard or the skeleton DJ inside. Come on in, the opening hours are midnight to midnight. All right, so we kind of zoomed right through the facts there because there is a lot to see and I want to, you know, not keep you here all day long. So let's dive in. Starting from the top, we have our zombie friend right on top. He is our DJ. He's leading the party. And what's really cool about the DJ here is there's actually a song selection because it's basically a jukebox, kind of. I mean, that's basically what it kind of looks like, right? I'm trying to see if I can focus that in for you, but basically it's a song selection. And it's a cool little touch. And I like that the zombies at the top, it kind of gives that almost like a festival kind of feel, like you kind of see, you know, at a festival, a DJ kind of super high up kind of thing. Uh, all right. Moving along, we have the zombie record sign. Cool, I like the font, I like what they did by putting it right there in the middle. It's super obvious and super cool and it seems to fit really well with the house and you kinda get it right away. Um, oh, and before I forget, you probably saw it already, but there is a really cool little tiny record on top. You know, if that doesn't give it away right there, right? So super cool on that as well. And we're gonna continue right on down here to the window. Now, this is, uh, you know, you're probably going to notice that there's something that almost looks like a cracked window, but it's not. Uh, there is a wire going through mine, and I'm kind of bummed out about that. Um, you know, when I do these videos, you know, this is how they come. So what you see is kind of what you get. Um, there is a wire. Now, I've had houses in the past, a long, long time ago, that had this issue as well. And yes, you can tear down the house, you know, from the bottom and, you know, do the loosen the glue and all that kind of stuff, and you can fix it. Basically, that tends to happen when they're sliding in the little scene there where the, the skeleton guy is, and the, the wire, you know, falls to the front instead of getting tucked in the back. So, you know, um... I'm bummed about it. What do you want me to say? You know, I, I know it was an accident. Obviously, it wasn't done on purpose, but, um, you know, it's a it's a bummer. So uh, I could definitely exchange it uh, if I can find one, though. So that'll be the struggle with that. But um, I don't know. But like I said, I'm always going to give it to you guys 100%. So, you know, that was definitely... Um, 
you know, a bummer. So, but we're going to move past it because there's too much cool stuff to see here. So, uh, you know, like I said, we got the guy in the in the window there. If I can get it zoomed in so you can get a nice little shot of what's going on. Cool little skeleton guy. He's got a record in his hand. And I think, I think he's shopping for records. You know, I don't think he's actually shopping. I think he's a DJ. That's what he is. He's a DJ. We have a sign on the door, and that sign looks like it's painted on to me. It's not like a sticker or something like that, like the uh, song list, I believe, is. Uh, but anyway, still cool. And we have some zombies on the front here. And, of course, some tombstones, because you got to have that. And, uh, yeah, you're probably noticing the white spots right here on the uh, red zombie guy. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Might have just been some mist paint. I don't know. You know, there's... a some things like that around this one for whatever reason on this specific house. Uh, you know, you can see some around the window as well. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So uh, let's talk lighting, though. This is what I was really hoping to get into with you guys and why I was trying to get through some of that, uh, you know, stuff in the beginning. Uh, look, I'm not sure. And, and look, I love the house. OK, I think it's a cool addition. It'd be kind of cool to fill things in. Uh, but you know, I've read, you know, some of the stuff in the groups about this one. And it's, it's look, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm always honest. It's not the most popular one. And uh, there's probably a couple reasons. And I'm going to talk about it. So here we go. Um, first off, it's a lighted building. OK, so it doesn't have any animation and there's no sound. Um, it's not exactly like you put a light bulb in it, like the standard kind of lighted building. Obviously, there's some LEDs in it here. And, and that's kind of what it is. Uh, but it also doesn't do anything. The lights don't pulse. There's no soundtrack and there's not many lights at all. You know, there's the one in the window, the two on top and it's lit up inside. And I don't think that's from the one in the window, but it could be, or maybe they're all sharing the same lights in there. I don't know. But, um, you know, so it's kind of stuck in that weird phase between standard, just classic lighted house and something more, you know, and it was an interesting attempt because it, wasn't quite maybe there, but it was an attempt at crossing the two together, kind of like a hybrid kind of thing. I think the idea of a hybrid is cool. I think it's just got to be done right and with the right theme. Uh, but here's here's the problem that everybody has. And, and look, it was an issue for me, too. Um, how do you not have sound with zombie records, right? It, it, this thing should be a disco party. This thing should be able to stand proudly next to like graveyard party and be driving the driving force of the two. You know, this thing should be blaring music, all kinds of cool soundtracks, lights going everywhere. You know, the whole top should be, you know, going with lights in the shape of it, you know, kind of like a jukebox kind of thing. You know, there was so much opportunity there. And look, I know they can't put, you know, a fortune into every single house. And every year in the lineup, there's got to be some that have all the bells and whistles and some that don't. But, you know, gosh, the theme, could they have saved the theme for another year and made it one of the special ones? Probably, guys. They probably could have. But, you know, I, I'm always, look, I'm always going to be honest. You know, I've said that a couple times now, and, and that's that's just what it is with this one. It, it's not a bad house. It's actually kind of unique. Zombie Records. It's a really good idea, really cool theme. But it just... It fell short because it's missing those bells and whistles. And I think any other theme, the concept of this hybrid thing between the, you know, classic lighted house and the LEDs and that kind of thing would have worked with any other theme, any other theme. But the, the zombie records, when you put zombie records, that's music, right? I mean, they, they, they got a DJ, but no sound. So, you, you know, I'm not going to harp on it. You know, obviously this is kind of what people, you know, I've read quite a few people talking about this. and But I'm never, you know, I'm always going to give you my opinion and my view, you know, on this channel. And I'm never going to let there be a bias based on something that I read or something, you know, another person's opinion. You know, when you come here, you're going to get a non-biased, straightforward thought. And, and that's kind of what it is. You know, I know I, I was trying to get through, you know, the front of this video because, the, the truth is, guys, is, is this is this kind of stuff you're going to want to know when you're going in to buy Lamax, you know, or any other brand. It's not just Lamax. Every brand has their high end houses and then their kind of regular houses for the year. Does it make them bad? Absolutely not. It doesn't. It just, you know, it means that when you go to buy it, know what you're getting. Obviously, I liked it enough to buy it. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you don't buy it. It's a great piece. Absolutely a great piece. However, I am going to tell you if you're going to buy it, 
use a coupon because that's what makes this one worth the buy. You know, if you got a 30% off Michael's coupon or a 40, which is what I think I had for this one, uh, yeah, then it's a no-brainer. You know, it's an absolute no-brainer. Uh, you, you know, when you're when you're using a discount like that for one for this piece here, it makes perfect sense. And you can still pair it with your, your graveyard party or something like that because it still fits the theme, you know, and you can use the music from one of your other houses or the graveyard party or symphony of screams or whatever and it'll work just fine and when people walk by it they're not going to go oh hey great village but you know, what's up with that one house no absolutely not they're going to go wow look at that zombie records what a cool idea what a cool looking house they're going to like it and you're going to like it but again i'm always going to be honest with you so look final thoughts is this is it a must have i don't know but Maybe, maybe, you know, there's so many cool ones this year, and that's kind of the other thing. There were so many great pieces for 2021 that any little thing that maybe wasn't the greatest is going to suffer a little more in general than maybe it normally would just because the rest of the pieces are so great this year. So, look, I still think it's a great piece worth having, and I think that when it comes to theming, I know a lot of people are into theming, this would be beautiful, for like a downtown party kind of theme, like Graveyard Party, Symphony of Screams, you know, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely, it'll fit right in. And and, and again, it's a great piece. But, you know, I, look guys, I like it. I obviously liked it enough to get it. I've said that now. I've showed you around the house. I think there's a lot of cool detail in it, you know, like the post or the big pillars and, you know, stuff like that and the zombies in the front. Obviously, I was a little bummed, you know, with the wire. So, you know, this video it might appear a little harsher than my normal ones. But I, I again, I'm always going to give it to you straight. And whatever that means is what it means. So, uh, look, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, as always, you know, for sitting through my videos and, and sending me all your support and all your love. You know, it never goes unnoticed. And, and I hope that, you know, we, we don't do many videos where I have to be a little harsher than some of the others. But it's going to happen. And I'm always going to do it. And, and look. Like I said, 2021 is a great year and it just suffers a little more in comparison because it was such a great year. So anyways, I still think you should get it. I think you'll like it. And with a coupon, it's more than worth it, more than worth it with a coupon. So use your coupons, folks. I can't stress that enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all your support. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.